Hello, everybody. My name is Josiah, and, uh... Oh, yeah. Uh, this is me. Bro, William. this is literally... Th bro, this is like the... This is like the intro, dude. We've done this like a million times, bro. Okay, but... You forget that I've graduated, and I'm basically an old man now. Okay, so, like, you got Alzheimer's because you... After, like, three months. Like, four months away from the club, and you know, you, 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 you forget the, the intro. Being stuck at home does that to you. Yeah. You know what? You know what? That's fair. We're going to talk about that. Um, I should finish the intro. Uh, welcome, everybody, to the Voice of the Vault podcast, McMaster University's Meme and Media podcast. It's me, Josiah, here with Will. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're back at it. Uh, it's the first podcast, bro. We, we did it. Yeah. New year. Um, yeah, you have anything to say to the audience? You have anything to say to the audience? Um, I'd like to remind you all that Josiah is poor. Ah, this is true. He keeps he keeps bullying me about that, actually. I mean, it's his entire summer, bro. He just bullied me. Mm-hmm. You will do the what, same once you have money. That's true. I, I actually, I don't know. Am I that mean? Like, would I would I go out of my way to bully my, my poor university friends? Um, it's not about being mean. It's just about being anti-Josiah. Okay, well, then, will I bully myself? Yes. Okay, yes, that is true. Um, I guess let's, 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 uh, let's kind of stop shooting the shit and get f moving forward. Uh, this podcast is really just going to be pretty light. It's about, you know, what's going on with the vault and, uh, what's been happening with Corona season so far. Um, as you can imagine, Corona is, it's a bitch. Um, it's pretty bad beer as well, yeah. Yeah, it really sucks. Um, actually, Corona is pretty good with lime. I, mm. I, I've tried it. Disrespectfully, I disagree. Disrespectful? Okay, fine. What, what would you What would you suggest instead, right, beer? Um, I would suggest something. If you're if you're if you're like hurting for money, the lowest I will go is Rickard's Red. Really? What yeah. about a good old Budweiser, bro? I have money. I don't think that. <laughs> no, dude. Like, if you don't have money, like for for all the poor poor man's out there, what's just don't what's drink? Your, what's your? Ah, fair enough. Um, but anyways, yeah, Corona has kind of really screwed up, uh, screwed everything up this year. Uh, I, I I was taking Zoom lectures. You you had you had any? Have you had any classes in in the online space? I guess not, right? I'm graduated, my guy. I'm, but True, I do but have Zoom, uh, Zoom meetings about important how is stuff. That? How, how, are those like difficult for you? Like, is it better than offline, or like, what's your experience with that? They're just meetings, man. You just like tell them, you just update your boss, and then he's kind of like, okay, and you're like, okay, then you mute yourself. True. True. I, I always find that kind of awkward. You know, you're just sitting there in class and or in meeting. And then there's always that awkward pause after a person asks something to someone. If they have to like unmute themselves and everyone's just kind of like waiting for someone to speak. That's why you just don't unmute yourself. Never give them a reason to like actually ask a question. Fair enough. True. Wait, so you just keep talking? Nope. I just no, finished. you just don't talk at all. I just finished my job so they don't have to talk to me. Ah, true, true. Yeah, that's not an option for, for all the rest of us unlucky students, you know? Hell we're yeah. sitting there in Zoom calls, and we, we're waiting for the, the professor to keep speaking, but then sometimes he just stops and, like, like asks a question to the class, but no one really wants to unmute himself. Uh, so we're just kind of sitting there staring at each other in awkward silence. That's happened to me in every single class I've had so far. Do you have to keep your mic- do you have to keep your camera open for these like, um, lectures? Yeah, well, okay, depends on the class. Like, some some classes, it's like, yeah, uh, they, you have to keep the camera on, or there's like a social stigma around it. Um, other classes, it's like, no, they don't care. Mm. Um, uh, for me, personally, I've just had my camera off all, all, the whole time. Uh, mm -hmm. No one's no one's really complained so far, so I'm just going to try and roll with that. I, case, I just prefer not to be seen. Just, like, record your lecture, your Zoom lecture using like your own device right and then yeah. you just like stay keep off the camera stay muted and go back to bed 
Honestly? Yeah. Um, unless they directly call on you, but that's that's pretty rude. Eh, whatever. They probably won't that's remember true. you when the day ends. You're just a number. Yeah. <sighs> Man. I, that kind of sucks about that. Like, I, I always like the, the personal interaction of a lecture. Especially because my lectures are, like, really, it's like, small or smaller, especially the upper year ones. Yeah. I always found that kind of nice. I can't relate. I never went to class. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so, I guess, big question, what's what has changed for you so far because of Corona? Has anything changed? I'm stuck at home. Ah, yes. And uh, it's Same. very upsetting. Yeah. How, how so? Um, I'm not going to go that much into detail, but let's just say that every single day that passes, like, the wrinkles on my brain are starting to smooth out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, you're, you're literally just atrophying in bed. Yeah, like, literally, if you, like, take an MRI of my brain right now, it's literally just two chicken thighs stuck together. <laughs> Yo, it's literally the same thing for me, except for my body. Like, I've just been sitting at a computer the whole summer, and I haven't been working out. Well, I, I started working out, like, last week, maybe two weeks ago. But the entire summer, it's just been me sitting there. And, like, I, I was getting fat. So I need to, I, I, I started working out. Yeah, I don't even know what you do all day. It's like, every time I message you, you're just like, I'm busy. And I'm just like, busy with what? I don't know, bro. I'm just doing stuff. Okay. I'm not gonna argue I'm cryptic. That. I'm cryptic. Well, it's probably something unholy. No, no, I, I will not. I will not disclose any information about what I may or may not be doing when you message me. Although you do message me sometimes at weird hours. All the time, yes. Yeah, that's true. And, okay, well, weird hours for me. Sometimes you message me at three o'clock and uh, three o'clock like p.m. Um, that. So it should be a normal time, but for me, on my sleep schedule, it's like, I just woke up. So, That's a problem, mate. Is that a, well, is that a side effect of Corona, too? Like, everything's just broken? Yeah, yeah partially. Because what, what, the thing in my house is, like, I can't stand with being with my parents, like, too, too long. So I, I've inverted my... So during the summer, I inverted my sleep schedule, so I just have my, the house to myself at night. They don't yell at you for staying up? No. No, they don't. Well... You have me beat. True, true. I mean, I it was for it was to keep peace in the house, you know. Uh, but now I have to wake up at like normal hours. In my household, peace was never an option. <laughs> peace is never an option. Indeed, my man. Indeed. Okay, so I'm kind of like France in this, all these encounters. I'm just losing. Oof. Yeah. I I, I don't know what to tell you, bro. Sometimes it just be like that, dude. Wake me up inside. Wake me up inside. Okay, let's see. So, I think one of the big things I noticed, uh, I think a lot of geeks um, also will, will have noticed because of Corona is that like, our lifestyles haven't really changed too much. Um, my actual lifestyle before the whole virus epidemic, pandemic thing, uh, was just staying up very late at night playing video games and drawing and then I just did that so Yeah, I mean Like playing video games until late hours at night and then just staying home if you don't go outside to begin with like you can't Really get affected by the pandemic. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah but I, At a certain point. Oh, I feel go you. ahead. Go ahead. No, I, I feel you. I feel you It's kind of like how I haven't gotten sick yet. There's two reasons either. I'm a shut-in or I've already had it and I never knew. True, but then you would have killed your family. No, 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 like, okay, story time. So before we were, like, quarantine started happening, it was mid-January, okay? Mm -hmm. I was struck by a really, really, really bad illness. I was bedridden, I was coughing my lungs out, and I was passing out after coughing a bit. Like, yeah, I remember that. Bad. And I, like... I don't know what was wrong with me, but I swear to God, I like probably sneezed out a few brain cells. Okay. Okay. And then someone brought it up today 
that there was a likelihood that I was I might have been sick with like coronavirus at that time. How how the hell did yeah how the hell did no one else in your house did were other people sick or like what 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 went on? I was it was in January and mate I don't leave my room. Oh, so you self quarantined accidentally essentially. Well, this happens when you're bedridden. That's true. That is true. But also, I didn't have a reason. Like, I would just... Because, like... So, I live in the same house as my sister. And then when I'm lazy, I just message my sister, like, go make me some pizza. And then she would go upstairs <laughs> and make pizza. And then I would, like, slink out of my room at 3 a.m., go to the oven, pick up some burnt-ass pizza, which I can't even call pizza anymore. It's just carbon chips. And I would just eat... Dude, you... Bro, you have a sister that makes pizza for you? Uh... Not voluntarily, no. Okay, wait, how do you coerce her into making pizza for you? That's that's a real question. I just tell her her boyfriend can't stay over. Oh, uh, okay, wait, you, that's that's mean, bro. You can't, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking with her love life, dude. <laughs> I would tell mama and you, I would tell mama and you if you don't make me pizza. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is that? I, I, told, I ended up telling my mom anyways. <laughs> Cause I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. So, okay. Has anything else really changed for your family since, uh, since the whole COVID thing went down? Um... I'm trying to think back, but all I hear is just echoes of, like, yelling. True. Like, um, for my family, uh, we- my- my- my dad is, uh, is in the- is in the church, right? He's a pastor. Um, Is he pastor Like, church? No. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. Come on, admit it. That was good. That was- that- okay, I hate- puns are the lowest form of art, alright? Puns are the lowest form of humor. Um, so, I- I- I say no. Even though I, I did appreciate the attempt. Um, anyways, yeah. Churches got hit pretty fucking hard because of this whole COVID thing, dude. Like, it, it, it was kind of crazy at the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know what's super crazy, though? There was, there was, like, churches in the United States where, like, we're just going to pray it away, dude. <laughs> Valid. So, yeah, so they all, they all get together on Sunday, 2,000 people strong. And everyone and then, just, you know, shakes hands and hugs and, then, and, and then next month it was 1,000. And the next month after it was 500. <laughs> and then the next month over is 250. May I, may I, may I note that one of the biggest churches in Florida was the one that actually, uh, did that. Uh, so yeah, Florida, Florida, Florida man does it again. Well, also you just did say just Florida, so, I mean, just Florida half general. your explanation already. Honestly, yeah, honestly. Like, it's just Dude, Florida, like, bro. What, what's our population at? Six billion now? The You mean global population? Yeah, it should be six billion now. It used to be eight billion, but uh, I think it should be six billion now. It's not actually, but um, I'm just, I'm just I'm talking could, my ass. I'm just, it's a joke about how people are dying. If we could remove Florida, I mean, that's basically what this virus is doing. Like, there's 9,000... I, I, I remember back, like, a month ago, there was, like, 9,000 deaths in a single day. Like, holy fuck. What the? What are you doing, mm. Florida? Right. Anyways, um, yeah. So church. Uh, usually we have to go in on weekends. We have to set up church and shit. Uh, mm -hmm. we'll we'll set it all up. We'll we'll go to service on Sunday. We'll come back. Uh, you know all that shit. But now we just do it online, and it's the best thing ever. Cause now I just I literally just get up, and I am in church. It's awesome. But like, that's awful no, as well, because now you live in church. That, I mean, true, but I always did anyway, so it's fine. No, it really sucks to be you. That, remind, look, that reminds me, I really shouldn't be alive right now, because I remember when quarantine started, I went to a temple. Well, which, which temple was this? A Chinese temple in Mississauga. Uh, which one was that? What, what are you referring to? Uh, like a Buddhist temple. It was just filled with like a bunch of Asian folk, and... It was Ooh. pretty concerning because they weren't taking temperatures or anything. And we just walked in, just like shook hands, like ate food off each other's hands or some shit. Ate food. <laughs> they prepared dinner. Whack, bro. Yeah. Then like communal plates with like seeds and 
sunflower seeds and cookies. And I was just like, yeah, sure, with cookies, whatever. Then I thought about it afterwards. I'm like, I should be dead. <laughs> it's, it's true. It really. Uh, I mean, it, technically, it, I mean, if that was Corona before, you wouldn't. You wouldn't be dead. No, no, but it was like be, after. It was during Corona. It was like pretty fucking late. Not gonna lie. <laughs> oh wait, when? Wait, when was this? It was like May. May? Yeah, it was God like damn. when lockdown started. It was, okay. Lockdown starts, and you're still going to the Buddhist temple. All right. Man, I fought. You can only fight so much. So I remember peace not never an option. Peace was never an option. It reminds me, like that time we were there, like, uh, what was it? Th this monk was telling me, like, about how we have to open our third eye and like about like stuff like about the soul, and you know, then we talk about how comatose people don't have souls because they're veggies. What? <laughs> no, yeah, exactly what? my reaction, and I was just like, well, that's not very gangly to you. That's not very, that's not very cash money. Like, you want, mate? <laughs> yeah, he was just like, he was just like, oh, the reason why people are comatose is because their soul left their body. They have no souls, like a vegetable. And I was like, you know what? If if you were to believe in souls, I I think that's a reason. That's a fairly reasonable explanation. Like the body's still alive, but the soul's gone. Okay, well, comatose people have a soul, and uh, the vegetables apparently. According to him, so um, that feels bad. Pretty bad. So, like, actually. is he advocating just like unplugging everyone? I don't know. I don't remember what he was talking about. But he like, he like what? he linked it back into opening the third eye. Yeah. What? Okay. What logically follows from that? Okay. So there's you have you have a person that is in a coma, mm -hmm. and you believe that they no longer have a soul in the body. So that's essentially just meat on a table that's being kept alive by tubes. So dinner time. Yeah, basically, huh? I I don't I don't know. I, I don't. That's, that's I'm, weird. I don't think I have the brain cells to process this right now. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. And uh, Corona, what is it? What, it's done quite a fucking bit for like the economy and shit. Like, did you see? Were, are, have you been keeping up with stocks? No, not at all, dude. Post post Corona, it just everything fucking died. It was like uh, the Dow, where it's technically supposed to be, like twenty thousand is like low, right? It went down yeah. to like nineteen thousand. Like that, okay, everything was dead, and then suddenly everything just shot back up again. Like Tesla, all that shit, yeah. all the electronics, they're just amazing. Amazon Amazon just went up like a fucking billion percent. It's no, crazy. Yeah. I probably yeah. contributed at least five hundred percent of that. Because I do. What do you mean, on Amazon? Now. Oh yeah, true, true, true. Everyone does everything on Amazon, bro. And probably mm. also because I buy a lot of aquarium stuff on uh, on Amazon. Do you start any new sure. hobbies? Uh, hobbies while stuck at home. Um, I gotta pass the to time. be honest. To be honest, I've just been trying to get through my games list, and I've been drawing. Um. Mm. And, oh yeah, we've been doing a lot of preparations for the, the, the vault publication. I guess that's a good segue into all the stuff we've been doing. You've been, you've been watching over summer, what do, you, what do you think of our progress so far? Um... It's more than I ever did in the span of my presidency. Keep it there. Hmm. Hmm. So, I guess for the people listening, um... Like for the two people listening, hello. <laughs> First of all, hello. Uh, second of all, yeah, we've been doing a lot of stuff, trying to get prepared for the whole Corona thing. Like, I was super nervous coming up because I, I had no idea what to expect. And then the whole Corona virus thing hit, and that's like double whammy, like new presidency, and also like what the fuck do I expect for, from all this, right? This is your legacy. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, we're in survival mode at this point. Like, I I don't think I can expand the club from <laughs> from this from this situation. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, the the things we've been doing over summer is mostly just concerning, kind of updating and getting it prepared. We uh, we did a full like editing thing where we went through all the old articles and purged a lot of them. Yeah, uh, for better, for for uh, for good reason. I yeah. We, you wanna you wanna talk about some of that, Will? Absolutely I not. I contributed you, too much of that. 
you you have to you're a connoisseur of the, of the content that we that we strongly not I'm not sure if we encourage it anymore. <laughs> I think I think Ethan is uh, the stronger connoisseur there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, man man's wrote a, a story about black <laughs> babies being launched out of rocket launchers. Don't say and it. And we're going to get canceled. I, well, uh, yeah, I know, but I'm just saying this cuz like this is like well, we can't add this. We can't add this. Like what what are we supposed to do with that? Right? Yeah. Anyways, we ended up getting rid of content like that, putting it behind a pro password protecting thing. We did general edits and stuff. It was pretty cool. Um mm -hmm. Aside from that, like, really the vault has just been kind of shifting towards an online medium. We're trying to build the Discord, which I'm not sure how well it's going to do. I think it's doing pretty well, actually. It was popping off recently. Yeah, dude. Uh, like, I asked some of the new exec- because Club's Fest this year is an absolute mess. Oh, um, absolutely. I, we, I've been here. Yeah. I've been keeping up with that. You, you, even when looking at the Facebook page, there's no interaction whatsoever. There's yeah. like, max 10, 12 people on a single post. So, I asked my execs, Amy, Adrian, some of the other people, to just share the Discord on mm -hmm. the server, say no, and then that's when people started coming in. Mm hmm Hopefully it's enough to get them, like, get the ball rolling, you know? But I would share this Discord with my friends on the Aquarium server, but I have good relations with the mods and admins there, and I don't want to get banned yet. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Um, what else have we been doing? Not really much else, we've just been planning for the online thing. I think if anyone is listening to this, you'll have a fun time if you come to our meetings. At least we're, we're planning on doing stuff like Minecraft. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Democratic Skyrim. Democratic Skyrim. Democratic Minecraft, bro, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so we back we all, in no. the mine. Sorry? Swinging our pickaxe from side to side. Side to side, side to side. I I forget how the song goes. Yeah. All right. Um, I can't really think of anything else that we should really be talking about. Like that's just that's just basically everything. Corona's kind of screwed us over. Yeah. It's just curious. Like, I wonder how this club will fare in this year when like there's like no one at McMaster that even exists anymore. That's true. I, I think the big thing is just to tr see if we can get through the year and survive. Uh, if we can get enough members to replace the old execs in, in a single year, that would be nice. Um, I don't expect to do way too well, but I don't, I don't know, We're, I think it's, things are looking somewhat up, at least. Yeah. I just regret that we won't have the in-person meetings. I, I enjoyed those. So, it, it, like, it was, it was getting pretty good, you know, that this end of, uh, second semester. No, no, the entirety of second semester, actually. With our, like, discussions yeah. and, like, the interesting videos we were watching and whatnot. It, it was, it's like we found our groove, and then, and then the world was just like, fuck you. And then we're just like, okay, we will bend over. And we just took yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. So, uh, do you have any closing thoughts, really? Uh, about this whole situation, or do you have any other things you want to talk about? Um, do I have anything, any closing thoughts? Uh, fuck money, make bitches. Yes. Where, where did that come from? Like, I, I know that it's the opposite is like, fuck bitches, get money. But like, where does that come from? I don't know. I feel like it's a rap song or something. I, I don't know, it was probably like 50 cent or something. I don't know, it's stupid. True. Anyways, uh, I think that's all the time that we have for today. We're just about hitting 25 minutes. Um, I guess I I'd like to thank you guys uh, once more for tuning into the podcast. Um, <laughs> it's been a wonderful journey so far. <laughs> Quote unquote um, being into the podcast, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I said tu I said tuning in. Tuning uh, oh, in. Oh, being... You know, like, Okay, okay. Now, now that's that's on you, bro. I, I, I tuned it, bro. I tuned it. Anyways, thank you guys for coming into the podcast. If you like what you hear and you want to, you know, have some more content, we have plenty of more stuff on our YouTube page. Also, we have, of course, all the content available, uh, articles, games, 
tons of other shit, whatnot, on the voice, not the voice, the fucking vault publication. It's like a website. Just, just, just click on it. Go there. There's some links. Mm -hmm. Um, that's, that's all for today. Uh, for maybe next week, I'm thinking of starting a little interview segment podcast where I talk to some of the old presidents about some of the challenges and, uh, you know, little victories they had during their respective, uh, you know, reigns. I'll eventually get to you around uh, on that, Will. Um, oh, dear. But yeah. No, I, I think, you know what? You, you were dealt a, a pretty bad hand, but I think you, you did pretty well with it. I'm not going to lie. I mean, anyone would do pretty well with it. It was a pretty bad hand. Yeah, true. Anyways, um, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next time. God bless. Amen. Oh,